It says in Malachi chapter 3, verse 6, For I am the Lord, I change not. And then it says in Hebrews 13, verse 8, that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yet most Christians in these last days actually believe God changes. You know, like with the times, I guess. But I have to ask, how is that even possible when he clearly stated in both the Old and the New Testament that he never changes? Well, take his law, for example. That's actually the law of the land in heaven right now, you know, the Ten Commandments. And it's the law of the land for all eternity, in fact. It even says in the last book of the Bible that you cannot get into heaven without keeping his law. But notice commandment number four, the one that if you keep proves you worship him. I mean, this is the perfect example here. The Christian God clearly stated that the seventh day of the week is the only day of the week that he sanctified and made holy after he created all that is seen and unseen. Yet, most Christians actually think he changed it. Worse yet, he even warned them in commandment number four that they would all be taught to forget his Sabbath by using just one word. That's right. The word remember in commandment number four shows us he knew Christians would be taught to forget it. Centuries later, the Lord even showed them again using the prophet Daniel that a beast system that forms into a church and state power near the end of the world would be used by Satan to try and change the Ten Commandments. And even though the prophecies of Daniel were so accurate, right down to having specific dates regarding things the Roman Catholic Church would do, most Christians ignored the fact that the God that never changes warned them in his law, and then later with an actual prophet, that most Christians would actually think he changed his law, when in fact he never did. I mean, if you're a student of the Bible, you know that the Lord said through the Apostle Paul in Romans chapter 6, verse 16, that whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. As a Bible student, you also know that when speaking of Satan and his desire to be worshipped as a god, it actually says in Isaiah 14, 14, that he, Satan, said, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds, and I will be like the Most High. Since we know the God of the Bible never changes, and you know Satan, who is soon to die, wants to steal your worship away from the ever-living God because he wants to be a God in his place, and you know there is not a single Bible verse from Genesis to Revelation that says the never-changing God of the Bible changed the day of worship, that he clearly chose as the seventh day of the week and the only day he made holy. And Numbers 23.20 even says that he hath blessed, and I cannot reverse it. And you also know the prophecy said the beast system in Rome would change it. And they even admit in writing they changed it without a single Bible verse from Genesis to Revelation to back it up. And some Christians that have actually done some in-depth studies, you know that Satan's mark will be a religious law. I mean, seeing how every time we see the mark or the image of the beast being mentioned in prophecy, the word Worship is right there with it. It's not hard to catch. And so why on earth do most Christians believe the never-changing God of the Bible changed the Sabbath from day 7 to day 1? Well, it was because it was prophesied in Revelation 13, 3 that all the world would wonder after that beast in Rome. And that all being said, if you think the prophecies that speak of how most Christians are going to bow to Rome's false Sabbath is bogus somehow— why, I ask, are they doing exactly as the prophecy said they would do? The God that never changes warned all of us that Satan would use the Roman man of sin to change his times and laws, and most Christians are not only obeying the Pope, all, every one of their leaders are now sending their tithe to the Pope, which, according to the Bible, means they are worshiping the Pope, who, exactly as prophesied, thinks he changed 
God's law, and they continue to mingle with those that obey the Pope, even though it is stated in Proverbs 24, 21, My son, fear thou the Lord and the King, and meddle not with them that are given to change. Thank you for watching. God bless.